What's up guys, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am sharing with you guys my Connor McDavid collection. I do have some cards, I do have some collectibles. So I'm going to share everything that I have with you guys next year. If I keep getting more Connor McDavid stuff and expand my collection next year, I'll give you guys an update and share everything that I have then. But uh, this is as far as I got and so far this is my first year of collecting. I'm glad I got uh, what I have here and I just want to share that with you. So let's just get right into it. So I have his 2017-2018 Series 2 uh, base card. I know it's a base card. Not everybody likes base cards. But for my Connor McDavid collection, that is a great looking card in my opinion. And it fits in really well. I don't have any that have his uh, home jerseys. So... I do like this one a lot. Next up, I have the Tim Hortons 2017-2018 uh, game day action card, which I think looks amazing. So I'm glad I have that in my collection. Also from Tim Hortons this year, I have the uh, Stat Makers, the gold Stat Makers card, which is a great addition to my collection. I'm really happy I have this one. And my last Tim Hortons one, is the triple exposure Connor McDavid card. Really love this card. Wasn't expecting the value of it, but I'm going to keep it in my collection, so I guess it doesn't really matter what the value is. I'm not selling it, so I'm keeping it. But that is amazing. That is has to be one of my favorite Connor McDavid cards. But I also have his upper deck portraits. I was really surprised I got this one. I have Ovechkin. I thought Ovechkin was going to be the top upper deck portrait I pulled. But Connor McDavid, that's the top one I have right now. That is amazing. I'm really happy. I love the portraits this year. This is my first year collecting, but these portraits look amazing. It's a close-up headshot, black and white. I do like the uh, cinematography that they used. And I do have an award winner upper deck Connor McDavid card. These are actually collectible cards. These ones uh, apparently aren't in stores. They're limited uh, edition card. And it's for individual collectors, not for resell. It's not in stores. At least that's what it says at the back. It says, congratulations, you've received a limited edition Connor McDavid card. This card has only been made available for individual collectors as a thank you for making Upper Deck your uh, card choice. So that is... I'm not sure how many they have. I'm not sure the value or anything like that, but that is a great addition to my collection. Uh, I'm not sure how rare it is or anything, or if anybody else has any of those, but oh, an award winner for Conor McDavid is really cool. Next up, I have the box, and it was the gift set, the Walmart exclusive with Conor McDavid on the front for NHL 18. I know not everybody plays PS4 or video games or anything like that that might be watching this, but to me, I keep this box because I put my other collectible up on it. And it's a great backdrop. I'll put my cards in front of it. And it actually looks pretty cool. And I actually had to argue with the lady. Uh, it was on sale for Black Friday for $49.99. The game and gift set combo. And she was saying that it was just the game. But it wasn't. So I ended up getting the last one my Walmart had. So I'm really happy about that. But what you get with the gift set is the Carney McDavid figure. Which is really cool. I love it. I haven't had any like this. This is my first figure that I got. Glad it's Connor McDavid. Fits in perfect with my collection. Love it. A great addition right there. And then last up, I know not everybody's into these things. I wish to get more, but I don't have room to display them. But my first one that I got for the pop figure is Connor McDavid. And I decided I'll keep it in the box. Down the line, I might take him out of the box just to save some space. But for now, he's going to stay in the box. I'd love to get more. They do have Marvel, which I'm heavily into Marvel as well. I'd like to get a whole bunch of them put up on my uh, dresser here, but I don't have room or the money for that right now. Maybe in the future, maybe next year, but uh, my first one's Connor McDavid and it was cheap. I see this going on Amazon for about $20 and up. I actually have where I get all my hockey card supplies, Collector Buddy. They actually sell them for $12.99 or, or sorry, $11.99, something like that. So it's how much they're worth. They're valued at $12.99 on average, but a lot of people are selling this for $20. Amazon is, eBay is selling it, and it's going through the roof just because of the player, but it's only worth about $12. So don't get shipped. Go to Collector Buddy if you guys see any of that and you guys want it for yourself, for your own collection. But they have more than NHL. They do have a bunch of NHL, but they have everything. But 
Uh, this is my Connor McDavid collection. I hope to expand it in the future. I'd love to get his CHL card, his rookie card. I doubt I'll ever find one of those, but you never know, I guess. I'm going to leave this video here. Hopefully in this 2018, the end of 2018, whenever I start collecting 2018, 2019, hopefully I can expand my Connor McDavid collection a little bit. And if I do, I will give you guys an update on that in the future whenever I get the chance to expand it. But for now, this is my collection as of uh, April 2018. I'll leave this video here. Hope you guys do enjoy. Ta please take care. Peace.